Hi everyone, welcome back to Diagnose Quiz, a prep ladder's attempt to give you a fun learning experience. And this is Connectron 2. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to click the bell icon to receive notification when the Connectron 3 is also uploaded. A quick recollection of the Connectron rules which I've already told you. I will be showing you three images. You're supposed to find out an appropriate process or a technique or a disorder which connects all these three images. In which case you get 15 points. If you know the right answer but you're able to connect only two images, you get 10 points. If you can connect only one image, you get 5 points. And for every right answer, there is also a bonus question. If you get the bonus question also right, then you get additionally 20 points. I'm also curious to know your total score. So at the end of the video, do not forget to type your total score in the comment section. There are three images. Give yourself 45 seconds time. If you have come back, the first image is a color. What color is it? It is brown color. Okay. The second image shows distribution of something. It is distributed in the interscapular region, in the adrenal gland, in the mediastinum, heart and the neck. What is distributed in all these areas? It is brown adipose tissue. So we have successfully connected the two images. One is brown color, the other one is brown adipose tissue. Now, what is this third image? Do you see something uncoupling two chains? So, which is the uncoupler that is present in brown adipose tissue? It is thermogenin. So, let me tell you the answer is thermogenin. But to connect these three images, what does a thermogenin do? Thermogenin is an uncoupler which is present in brown adipose tissue, which uncouples oxidation from phosphorylation in the sense oxidation of fuel happens continuously. Energy is getting liberated continuously, but that is not coupled to phosphorylation. If you don't couple energy liberation to phosphorylation, energy will be liberated out as heat. And that is why brown adipose tissue acts as a mechanism for non-shivering thermogenesis in neonates and in hibernating animals. But as age advances, brown adipose tissue is supposed to regress. In some lucky people, brown adipose tissue does not regress. Why are they lucky that way? In that case, whatever fuel which the person consumes, all those fuels will get oxidized and energy will be liberated out as only heat. Because it's not coupled to ATP production, no anabolism. So the person does not gain weight. That is the advantage of an uncoupler. It helps in heat generation, no anabolism, no weight gain. Let's see the bonus question. 2,4-dinitrophenol, the chemical uncoupler was once used in 1930s for this purpose and is still being misused by some. What for was it used? I already gave you the clue. What do you think an uncoupler can be used for? Give yourself 30 seconds time and come back with the right answer. The right answer is all these uncouplers are used as anti-obesity drugs. Why do you think they can be used as anti-obesity drugs? In the presence of any of these uncouplers, any fuel which the person consumes or any fuel which had been stored in the person already will be oxidized to produce only heat. No ATP production, no anabolism. That helps in weight loss. So this was once used as an anti-obesity drug but because they all produced or presented with posterior subcapsular cataract and the heat generation was too much, intolerable heat production, they were all withdrawn from the market. But still it is being misused as was asked in the question. So that's all for this topic and do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we'll be releasing out so many topics and so many concepts that will be of use to all NEET PG and next PG aspirants. Thank you.